We may need the luck of the Irish in this video. I'm on Etsy. I've typed in St. Patrick's Day and it's just non-stop ridiculous fulfilled niches here. Is there any room for me at all in this thing? It's one of the most competitive niches I've ever seen. So what are we going to do here? Well, in this video, I've got three niches in the digital space that actually has some potential to make sales. This is a very competitive niche and this should be a fun one to dig into. In this video, I'm going to be using a niche research tool that I really like. It's called Everbee. I'm going to put a link to Everbee in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on it and you purchase Everbee, I would receive a small commission. I've typed in St. Patrick's Day here into the keyword research tool along the left hand side and we see we get back search volume, competition. It's way, way too much competition. We can see here the keyword score is pretty horrible at zero. When I type in SVG, maybe that'll help us. Not really. The search volume's less, the competition's much less, but the keyword score is still pretty bad at 10. The nice thing about Everbee is it shows you related keywords down below, and you've got volume, competition, and then a keyword score, and then you can also export this into a spreadsheet. So I've gone through that spreadsheet and I'm going to share with you three niches that I think actually can score well and get you possible eyeballs on your designs. Let's jump in. Niche number one is St. Patrick's Day coloring. And when I look at that on Etsy, I can see the search volume is 283. The competition's not bad at 2,216 and the keyword scores are pretty robust 130. Okay, so if you're selling digital downloads on a site like Etsy or any website, you wanna make sure to think like a customer. So here I've typed in St. Patrick's Day coloring. I'm still gonna get back a whole bunch of results, but I've highlighted a couple that I think you'll find interesting. The first one is St. Patrick's Day shenanigans coloring book, and then look at the keywords afterwards. Cute leprechaun, St. Patrick's Day printable, coloring sheets for kids. This is in five baskets, and we can see there's 24 shop reviews. Pay attention to the shop reviews down below. You can see the purchased item, and that is proof that somebody purchased it. And then look at the reviews. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes the reviews will say things like, maybe the picture was fuzzy or the sizing was weird. Those are opportunities for you to go in and stake your own claim in this niche. So this is a really nice looking thumbnail and they've got some really nice little videos and thumbnails here. They've got some mock-ups obviously. This looks really nice. Here's another one. This is where I would encourage you to think like a customer. This is St. Patrick's Day preschool packet. So that's a completely different keyword. Preschool, preschool worksheets, preschool printable, homeschool, toddler printable. So these are all things that are gonna come into play when people are searching for different items. And this one's in demand. Four people have bought this in the last 24 hours. Now it is on sale, but still $2.13. This is as close to passive income as you're going to get. And these feature sheets that are pretty easy. I mean, look, I'm not five years old anymore, so I would have a pretty easy time with these, I would hope. But if I was in the preschool market, this would be pretty challenging and pretty fun for a lot of kids. Here's a third one. This is in 20 plus baskets. This is St. Patrick's Day color by number sheets. This is a great example of where somebody thought a little bit outside the box and they said, okay, how can I make this different? Instant PDF download, color by numbers. I love this. In 20 plus baskets, $4.00. And 24 cents. Niche number two is St. Patrick's Day Sublimation Bundle. So check out the difference here in the keyword score. When I type in St. Patrick's Day Sublimation, I get back a keyword score of 10. But when I type in Sublimation Bundle, the keyword score jumps up to 50. So it's way less competition. You want to make sure to have these keywords sitting inside your listings on Etsy. So on Etsy, it's still competitive and you still need to have really good thumbnails and really good customer service, good price points, all of that stuff. But we can see here as I scroll on down, you're going to see lots of different bundles. So ask yourself when you're scrolling through, which bundle thumbnails really stick out and which ones do you like? Again, it's personal preference, but there is some appeal here to really good looking thumbnails. I like this one, for example, it shows you don't have to have incredible graphics art skills. They just need to be easy to read, green, St. Patrick's Day-ish. And we can see here there's 20 plus views in the last 24 hours. As I scroll down, we're going to see there's a lot of different shop reviews. And you can see here there's different items that have been purchased. So it's more than just keywords, but you want to make sure that you've got great looking thumbnails, great looking mock-ups. $4.15, 20 plus views. People are certainly looking at this. Now it is a star seller, which is right here. So you may be thinking, well, this is such a big store. You know, they'll put up anything and anybody's going to just buy it because customers are falling for them. Well, what about this one? 
This is 20 plus views in the last 24 hours. This one's a littler shop, reviews for this item eight. Entire reviews for the shop are only 351. That's not a ton. So here we've got St. Patrick's Day bundle, $2.83. The nice thing about bundles is you can put a lot of designs in and just undercut people on price. It's very competitive, but if you get to the top of that hill, you can really make some nice money. We can see here purchased item, purchased item, purchased item, and the list goes on and on. They've done a very good job of distinguishing themselves as providing great value for the client. I really like this one. This is a tumbler bundle. So tumblers are drinks that you can buy. They're basically like a cup and they've got a nice little mock up there in eight plus baskets, $2.83. Only five shop reviews so far. We can see St. Patrick's Day tumbler wrap is one of the items that is sold. So this is not a very big shop. This is tumbler likable. And we can see they're from Thailand, 10 sales, only 10 sales. So that gives you hope that even new stores can get in here and actually make some sales on Etsy. Niche number three is St. Patrick's Day Retro Bundle. I'm gonna show you the same sort of thing as the last one. St. Patrick's Day Retro gives us an okay keyword score of 20. But when I type in bundle, that really pops the keyword score up. The competition's way less. So let's jump into Etsy and see what we can do with St. Patrick's Day Retro Bundle. So this is a very popular niche. And so the bigger the store you are, the better the competitive advantage will be. Here's a great example of the retro St. Patrick's Day Bundle. This is in 15 plus baskets for $4.02. Look at the shop reviews, 5,800. So this can be a little depressing because you're looking at it going, well, if I'm a new store trying to compete, this can be a little bit disheartening. However, these are great looking thumbnails. I can't fault a consumer for wanting to purchase this, especially from a shop where they're very much branded with high quality. Here's another one. This is a 10 pack bundle for $1.42. It's in six baskets. And we can scroll down here and we can see that it's been purchased a few times. I like this one. Love the quality and price. The price is a big deal because for $1.42, you're basically begging the client to pick it up and grab it before St. Patrick's Day. Again, this is another star seller. So my third option here, if you wanna get a little bit of inspiration, here is a very tiny shop. This is only three shop reviews. And we can see this is a nice unique design here where we've got a smiley face and we've got clovers. And when I scroll down here, we can see it's Linda Digital Designs. When I open up the store, we can see there's only 86 sales. Now they've started to do a really good job here of branding their store. We've got a Valentine's Day, Easter Day. They're using faces as sort of the branding inside this store. Great looking shop. I really like the thumbnails and they're off to a good start. So even if you're new, if you have really good thumbnails, good keywords, notice the keywords over here, checkered clover, trendy, St. Patrick's, retro, smiley, cricket, SVG, PNG, make sure to look at the keywords on a lot of these listings and then make sure that you're putting your appropriate keywords inside your digital designs as well. I really hope you found this video helpful. It is a very competitive niche. I'd never said this was easy. So you wanna look through and see if there's demand, you know, high demand niches, and then ask yourself, can you compete either through quality, quantity and price, or better customer service, better thumbnails, that kind of thing. And I'm really proud to announce I got through the whole video without doing any crazy Irish accent and I hopefully didn't offend anybody. All right, enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can look at niche research to help you in your print on demand journey or your digital demand journey.